What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. This is episode 21 now on the series. What you guys are seeing right now is a little time lapse of me taking the Cyclops and the prawn suit all the way back to paradise, gathering up the required materials to make a fabricator, and then heading back into the massive moon pool underneath the freaking laser beam. So what we're going to be doing first here is making ourselves a fabricator now that we have all the materials. We're going to put that right here next to the med kit fabricator. And the reason we're going to do that is because we have got to start working on making the enzyme, the hatching enzyme right here, which does require a couple of different types of seeds and, uh, and samples and stuff like that. So I don't know how many we're actually going to have to make. I believe there were five or six eggs so we might need five or six hatching enzymes i really don't know but to actually make that we do have to use the fabricator right here so a couple of the seeds and stuff are going to take up at least four slots in our inventory so if that's the case and we actually do need to make quite a few of these we're going to have to come back and uh and utilize our storage box here we also have a new bulbo tree right here growing pretty steadily it's at 66 percent right now but we're going to take the prawn suit, and we're going to head back to the primary containment facility. So this is actually my second time trying to do this intro. The first time, I didn't have my mic on, and I actually went up top through the portal that takes us to the thermal plant, or the thermal plant facility, whatever that thing is called. And I was getting ready to go through the, the volcanic area again, which is stupid because we learned we have a new portal right down here which takes us straight to the primary containment facility so we're gonna go ahead and head through this one and that that should spit us out right where we need to be all right we made it through the portal so this puts us underneath the water right in front of the sea emperor right here or sea empress so what we need to do is go out through the other portals that we created in here and we actually have to go and hunt for the other materials that we're going to need get there come on nice okay we about ran out of booster there so if we head up top here i don't know if there's any sort of rhyme or reason to which portal goes where so i think first we'll start over here in this back corner there's a portal here there's a portal here there's one in this corner and there's one in that corner so we're going to go through all four of these and see if we can't source some of the required seeds and or materials that we're going to need in order to make this hatching enzyme. So let's jump through this one and see where this takes us. We're having some sort of weird glitchy thing with the prawn suit where it just stops walking all of a sudden. And then I have to use my grapple arm to, to move us around. Not the most convenient thing ever. And I'm hoping this doesn't spit us out. Oh shoot, did I bring water? I don't think I brought any water with us. Oh, wow. Okay, we're actually on land now. That's pretty cool. We have zero water, so we're going to have to make this a quick trip. We do have water inside of the Cyclops, so that's nice. Let's take a look around here and see what we have. Whoa, wait a second. What? Are we underwater? I honestly can't tell. No, this is land. Why is... Hang on, we haven't scanned this guy. A bone shark. Why is there a bone shark... In here. You shouldn't be in here, dude. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. Since you're not supposed to be in here, we're just gonna take care of you. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. We should be good. Welcome aboard, Captain. That's really weird, dude. Just make sure he's actually dead. Okay. Well, we're off to a great start. Let's keep making our way through this cave system. And eventually... Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. So we're outside of the bulb zone now. We needed a we needed a bulb zone. Okay, there he goes. We're having some glitchy issues already. Let's scan the, the common bulb bush. Seems like we've never scanned that before. And we'll grab ourselves a sample of that. So I'm only going to grab one of everything as of right now. And then if it turns out that we actually have to make multiple hatching enzymes, we can come back and just grab a couple more. So that fills up a 4x4 four space. Ooh, actually, we could get some water from that, so we don't have to go all the way back to the Cyclops just yet. Grab a couple more of you. I didn't realize these were such a good source of water. I don't know if it matters 
necessarily if the sample is old or not. There we go. All right, stats are looking better. Let's jump back in the prawn suit and we'll head back through the portal we came through and we'll see what the next zone is like. All right, we are back inside of the primary containment facility. Let's go over to this one over here. We're gonna keep working our way clockwise around here and we, we can't walk again. I don't know why this happens. Should we not take the prawn suit? Do we really need it for anything? It's good for protection. But if it's going to keep doing this little thing where we just can't walk all of a sudden, then I don't think I want to take it. The ramps, I think, are, are what messes it up. I guess let's just leave it here and we'll come back. Now we're the size of an ant again, but let's head through this portal. Okay, so we're in a cave system again, so we have oxygen. This portal looks a little different. This whole area actually looks a little different. The lighting just changed. Oh. Oh, when you get up close to these, they illuminate. That's cool. So let's work our way up here. We'll follow the, the glowing things. And this is going to spit us out in an underwater cave. What are we going to find down here? I can't even remember what samples we were looking for, to be honest. There's a bunch of grass around here. Some jelly rays. Do we get fungal samples from these, maybe? From the mushroom trees? That could be it. Yeah, there we go. So we got a fungal sample. Awesome. There's five in total, so there's got to be at least two in the same portal area. But I think I think all we're going to get here is the fungal sample. So let's head back. Uh-oh, didn't mean to do that. Ooh, that hurt a lot. <clears throat> All right. Back to the prawn suit. We are actually standing this time. Prawn suit can walk. So far, so good. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, and we're stuck again. There we go. Out of the doorway. We can walk. And we're just floating again. I'm going to leave the prawn suit right here. Front and center. And let's go into this room over here and we'll see where this one goes. There's no way that we're only going to have to make one of these hatching enzymes. I feel like we're going to have to make at least five or six. One for each egg. Just, this seems too easy. The hard part about this would be having enough storage space to bring all the materials at once. Okay, so we are somewhere inside of the Lost River. I'm surprised we didn't find any of these when we were exploring around. We have a Lost River waterfall right here. Yeah, dude, that's that's really surprising that we didn't find a single one of these. Maybe maybe this is the Sea Crown area. Okay, there's a there's a big boy down here. All right, well, he doesn't see us just yet. I don't know what we're looking for in here. Oh, there we go. It's the eye stocks. There's a couple around here. We're gonna jet over this way. We should be safe-ish underneath these roots. Oh no, it's ghost weed, my bad. So we needed a ghost weed sample. I don't think there's any eye stocks down here. Okay, we're, we're safe, we're safe. He can't hurt us under here. Here he comes, back in for the kill maybe? Nope, turned around. Okay, now's our chance. We're gonna get the heck out of here. All right, behind the waterfall and we'll be home free. Cut in through here, and we made it. All right, now we have oxygen again. Okay, so let's head back through the portal. We need two more samples of some sort, and we only have one more portal to go through. Maybe we can source the other sample inside of the containment unit that the Sea Emperor is inside of, maybe? All right, what do we got here? Different biome again. We got some pink caps over here. That's not gonna help us. Got some speckled rattlers. This seems like the same biome as back home, actually. So maybe there's a, no, Paradise is, Paradise is actually 800 meters away. I don't think what we need is at the base here. So let's keep going up, follow the, follow the lights right here. Okay, it's extremely dark here. We have some eye stock right here, and we might have some sea crown. I don't think I've ever seen sea crown. I don't see any sea crown seeds or any sea crowns out there at all. 
Maybe there's a different biome we have to go through. We'll just dodge the crab boy there. There might be... Actually, there might be a portal at the top of the staircase where we enter into the primary containment facility. So we can try that. If that's not the case, then I don't know. Maybe we could look inside of the, the containment facility that the Sea Emperor resides in. This was sort of their, their laboratory, so there's nothing in here for us. Okay. I mean, I guess we could check out here, but I don't think anything can stand the temperatures down here. I Something called a sea crown probably wouldn't survive out here. Oh, we can't even survive out here. Okay, we're just gonna check that off the list. That That's definitely not the place. <clears throat> All right, so after a very quick Google search, it does seem, I'm going to actually, I don't know why I hopped back in the prawn suit. We're going to leave him there. It does seem like you might be able to find some sea crowns inside of the containment area here. So let's jump down here. Take a look around, see if we can't find anything. It said that there might be some inside of... Oh, hey, girl, what's going on? It said that there might be some inside of the caves that are down here. I love how none of the sea creatures down here are hostile. Everyone's so friendly. What is that? Is that the sea crown? It is! Sea crown, awesome. We're gonna scan that just because we haven't yet. And let's grab ourselves a sample. Now, I don't think that we can craft what we want without using a fabricator. So let's head back into the Cyclops and let's make ourselves a hatching enzyme. Dang it, I headed all the way up here and we didn't even have to. The portal's inside of the place we literally just left. So let's just take the prawn suit back to the Cyclops. God, come on, dude. I'm so sick of this thing not being able to walk on the surface. Now we just have to free fall down into the portal and we'll be back at the Cyclops in no time. Oh, we just landed on her head, dude. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, now we just have to get back up into the moon pool area. I heard that there is a reaper down here, but so far, guys, we've been pretty lucky. We haven't seen him. All right, we are back inside of the Cyclops. Let's close that up. Let's let's take a look at our stats here first. Yeah, so it says rotten bulb bush sample. I don't know that that matters though necessarily because there's no there's no way that we can actually make those things keep. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So we have the eye stock seed, sea crown seed, fungal sample, bulb bush sample, and ghost weed seed. Now we can make a hatching enzyme. And there we go. Easy as that. So I'm gonna leave the prawn suit in here and we will go back to the primary containment facility. All right, well, we just broke our wrist somehow. That was, that was interesting. But we have a single hatching enzyme. So let's take this down here and we'll see. Hopefully we only need the one. 
She's looking at us like we're like we're good, like we're all set. Is it just one? Oh, okay. Okay, there they go. They're coming out. They're kind of cute. Hang on, we can scan these. Sea Emperor Juvenile. God, it takes a long time to scan them. Lots of stuff to learn. Will they have broken free? What's our girl think about that? Is she cool about it? Is she happy? What do you think? I'm surprised she's not saying anything right now. Like, I don't know, maybe thank you? Is there something else you want from us? I'm, I'm really confused. Okay, they're all coming up to their mom now. This is cute. So now what? Okay. Oh no! Oh no, dude! My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet. I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Oh, dude, that's so sad. She lived long enough just to see her young hatch. Okay, I don't, I don't mean to sound greedy, lady, but like... What do we get out of this? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh shoot. All right, we only have so much oxygen remaining. Let's go just just get a, a breath of fresh air. Dang, dude, that's so sad. But I saw some like orange floating orb looking things down here. Yeah, what are these things? What is this? Oh, this is enzyme 42. We can't scan it, but we can touch it. Okay. That's interesting. And it's just... Is it gonna heal us then? I mean, we're not barehanded, so I can't really tell. But I think we're healed. Yeah, optimal health. We're good now, as long as we don't come in contact. Let's do a self-scan. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. That's amazing. We can't, like, pick any of this stuff up, unfortunately. But as long as we don't come in contact with any of uh, any of the infected dudes out and about, we should be able to actually shut off the uh, the laser beam now. This is insanely sad. I feel so bad for her. We never did get a name. It's just Sea Emperor or Empress. But we'll leave her be. Seems like now she just sort of wants to sleep. Oh, look, dude. They came through the portal. I didn't even see them. I didn't even see them go through. That's awesome. So now they should grow up to be just as big as their mom. I would think. And they're so nice. Oh, it's just vomit, dude. They just vomit Enzyme 42. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, before we, uh, before we run out of oxygen, we'll get back inside the Cyclops here. Actually, no, we won't. We won't either. Because now we can shut off the gun. We can... We can Turn off the, the laser cannon. Let's head up the stairs. I think that's how we get to where we need to go. Yeah, all the way to the end here. This should be the area where we get to turn off the laser beam. Yeah, this looks right. There's the main central power right here. So we shouldn't be infected anymore. Let's do a self-scan once more just to make sure. Vital signs normal, okay. So now if we push the button, this thing's gonna come out. It's not a retina scanner. It's just gonna straight stab us. Oh. That was weird. It like juked us out twice. Okay. Okay, sweet, dude. So there we go. Wow, dude, I just got the chills from that for some reason. We have successfully disengaged the laser beam. Okay, so we're back down on the main floor now. We just have to make it back to the Cyclops. I'm gonna head outside and back out to the front just to see if anything has changed visually with the, with the laser beam. 
It visually looks no different at all. Oh, maybe it did fold up. I think it might have folded up on itself. So with the laser beam down, guys, now's our time to escape. Nothing's going to shoot us down if we try to make a rocket. We'll be able to get out of here safe and sound. So uh, I think the next episode will work on getting the required materials to build the Neptune rocket. And we should be able to blast on out of here no problem. So I think I'm going to leave things off here. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.